Good morning, everybody. It's Wellness Wednesday, and we have good news for kids who suffer from chronic stomach pains like inflammatory bowel disease or ulcerative colitis. Dr. David Suskin is a pediatric gastroenterologist at Seattle Children's who's been researching treatments for kids with those conditions, and he's advocating a unique diet that has put some patients into remission without drugs, which is wonderful news. It's amazing. What diet does to the body in terms of inflammatory bowel disease, but many other conditions, is remarkable. Um, we have to look at IBD or inflammatory bowel disease as an immune uh, attack onto the GI tract. Which is tract. what it is. It's an autoimmune kind of thing, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Um, but there's something that triggers the immune system, and that's the microbiome. That's the 100 trillion bacteria within our GI tract. And over... Which is a good thing, not a bad thing that we have them, right? Absolutely. They actually do a huge amount of work for us. They help break down foods. They make vitamins for us. Um, we need them. Um, but over the last century, they've changed. And they've changed because our environment has changed. Mm -hmm. Our diet uh, environment has changed, as well as the use of uh, uh, medications like antibiotics, which change the type of bacteria within our microbiome, within our GI tract. And because of that, uh, conditions like inflammatory bowel disease have increased over time. Which is so interesting to me. And for kids, you know, it, th this is such a tough thing to go through socially and at school and how they feel and getting up in the morning and getting where they're going. Um, how common are these problems with kids? It, they're not uncommon at all. Actually, over the last um, 50 years, the rate of uh, inflammatory bowel disease, both Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, has risen uh, dramatically. Um, we see over 900 children at Seattle Children's with inflammatory bowel disease. Wow, okay, so you were the lead on a study about this, and we've had good results. Doesn't work for everybody, but you've had some patients who've completely gotten off medications as a result of changing their eating, is that Absolutely. correct? Absolutely, so the foods you eat change your microbiome. And uh, the diet that we're looking at is the specific carbohydrate diet. And it changes the microbiome in a positive way, uh, in a positive way that makes the immune system not attack the bowels. Uh, and so using this diet, we've actually made people feel better That's and got awesome. the inflammation down. OK, the specific carbohydrate diet. So Absolutely. let's talk about what's in it. And can I ask, just before we get into the mm -hmm. specifics, would this be a good kind of thing for anyone to do to reduce inflammation or problems in their system? Or is this specifically targeted to different kinds of IBD? Right now, we're looking really at inflammatory bowel disease. Okay. Um, as research grows, uh, this may be something that we could use in other inflammatory conditions as well. Perfect. Let's start with the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> cookies well, are good for you. I think I'm it's so, so happy. important because when we think of diets, we think of, oh, restriction, restriction and not deprivation. Being able, exactly. And, and here we have phenomenal cookies. Uh, and these cookies are delicious uh, and they're just adjusted so they are legal on the SCD. And uh, instead of using processed sugar, um, it uses honey as a sweetener. And so why does that make so much difference? Well, again, it changes the microbiome. It changes those bacteria in the GI tract uh, to uh, positive or good bacteria that don't uh, elicit an immune response, don't uh, have the immune system attack the bowels because That's of awesome, and that's just one change. Just getting rid of the refined sugar would do all of us a world of good, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So eating healthy, it doesn't matter if you have a medical issue or not, eating healthy, focusing on whole foods is always an important thing. A great thing. idea. Okay, this looks delicious. I don't even know what we've got here, but tell me <laughs> about these. So these are cheesy crackers. Okay. Uh, and uh, again, a delicious uh, component of the SCD and very simple to make. Uh, it uses cheese and almond flour. And the substitution here is the almond flour. So getting the gluten out. Getting, actually, with the SCD, it removes all grains. Um, oh, and interesting. so uh, by removing all the grains, again, it changes those bacteria in the GI tract. Mm -hmm. And instead, uh, the SCD uses almond flour and coconut flour to make delicious cheesy crackers as well as the breads that are eaten. So you can still have crackers and breads, mm -hmm. and you have a healthy fat? 
and a, and a healthy fat. Um, the fats in the SCD are not necessarily a focus, but definitely focusing on um, uh, vegetable um, oils is, is a positive. Is a good thing. So just in this case, we're trying to get rid of the grains. Exactly. Can I taste? Absolutely. I mean, I take your word that they're delicious, but trust but verify. <laughs> Those are delish. Okay, what do we have here? And so these are some other important components of the SCD. Again, the SCD is a whole foods diet, so lots of fruits and uh, fruits and vegetables. Um, but there are other important components as well. Um, these are chopped nuts, and nuts, again, can be used to make fl uh, breads uh, through uh, flowers. Uh, and then uh, bananas. Actually, when this diet first uh, came about in the 1920s and 30s, um, it was called the banana diet uh, because Seriously? it really focused on um, bananas. I guess there was uh, um, a lots of excess <laughs> bananas in the 20s and 30s. Yes, we do uh, have bananas. Exa exactly. Um, that um, that uh, provide carbohydrate um, and provides a, an ingredient for many of the recipes. That's interesting. And so just it doesn't matter what kind of nuts. We have walnuts here, but it could be no, others? No, it, it can be um, all the different nuts uh, that we have. And you have a sea salt here. Does that matter? Well, I think it's important when we talk about diets uh, to really not restrict and really to make sure that you're enjoying the foods you eat. And, and salt is good. an important component of that. It is indeed. Is this cinnamon? It, uh, it is cinnamon, and uh, I believe those were used in the cookies. The cookies are just looking fantastic. All right, so fruits and vegetables. Absolutely. So the SCD really focuses on fruits and vegetables, and that increases the fiber, which again changes the type of bacteria in the GI tract uh, to those that are beneficial for us. Who are the best candidates for this diet? So individuals who have kind of mild to moderate uh, inflammatory bowel disease, either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, uh, are uh, the most um, appropriate individuals to use this diet. Um, for those individuals who are having issues with weight uh, or those who have very complicated disease, the diet itself may not be um, the best uh, thing for them. But at least this is hope for people in that category. Can you find this diet online? Do you have to go to Seattle Children's? How do you access the information? So actually all the information is online. Uh, you can get there through the Seattle Children's website um, or it's nimble. Org. Very good. We'll put that up on our website as well. We appreciate it very much. Glad those kiddos are feeling better. You can read more about the specific carbohydrate diet therapy on Seattle Children's on the Pulse blog. We'll also link you to their SC Delicious cooking videos for the recipes. When we come back, management and treatment options for those living with rheumatoid arthritis as Wellness Wednesday continues.